is is how I get amped up to like talk to myself. I was just like a little bit too weird. No, nothing's too weird. Because here we're all weird. Just me? Wait, no, I know another thing that's weird. These pants. I thrifted these suit pants for three dollars, guys. Three. I'm telling you, if you struggle with having your perfect style because it's just too expensive for you to afford, I am telling you, you can have it. Go thrifting and learn how to sew. I have so many custom things in my closet that I can literally say over half of my closet I got for under $10. All of my pieces I absolutely love and I love to wear them and a lot of them are staples like these pants and they're versatile yet so unique. No one's gonna have these. And that's the beauty of thrifting and sewing put together. So here's how I transform these large suit pants into something really unique. Guys, I got these pants for $3. A thrifting tip for you is to just simply figure out when your local thrift stores have sale days. So for example, where I got these pants, every single Sunday is half off. So they were originally six, but I saved three dollars. The pants are obviously super big on me, so I need to take them in. I tried them on inside out, pinching the sides in and marking those points with chalk, then putting pins where I marked. Starting with the waist, I'm seam ripping all of the seams at the side waistband. So down the middle, up the top, on the outside and the inside. Until I got this. Now I can take in that outside seam by matching up my pins, pinning that in place and sewing right there. I also took in the top half of the pants at this step, like around the thigh area. I used the same method to take them in, wearing them inside out and pinching from the outside seam and making markings with my chalk, being approximately two inches here. After all that was done, I could cut off some excess from that outer waist seam, fold it away from that stitching, towards the inner lining of the waistband, which I could then fold that inner lining in towards the outer one, hiding all the raw edges, if that makes sense. And that turns out to look like this. I repeated this on both sides, then sewed the top and the bottom of the waistband to secure them. Then to finish off that inner seam nicely, I took to a needle and thread and hand stitched the two, joining them together to end up like this. To take the rest of the pants, I used that outer seam line I just sewed as a guideline, but needed to make markings on the inner seam since these pants are wide-legged. After I fitted and sewed the legs to my liking, I cut off the excess and then used a zigzag stitch on the edges to prevent the fabric from fraying later. I could have also used a serger at this step. I wanted these pants to be ankle length, so I folded the bottoms up until I got the length I wanted, then marking this length and placing pins at those marks. I then cut off the original hem and did the same double fold hem the pants originally had. And I also made sure to open those side seams flat too. Once all pinned down, I stitched the very top of that fold down. Now for the best part. So satisfying. 
To make the denim strips, I tore them off from a piece of denim, which encouraged the edges to fray. And I encouraged the fraying even more by putting them through the washer and dryer. I then pinned these strips to the outer seams of the pants, leaving a little quirky bit hanging off the end, and I folded the top to the inside of the waistband. I stitched these down on each edge, leaving a bit of room for the denim to fray even more later. I knew this would be hard to stitch the whole length down using my sewing machine since the leg inevitably got smaller towards the bottom. So I did my best and decided to hand sew the rest down. Hey! Which I quickly realized was going to take me 5 billion centuries if I wanted my stitches to look anything like my machine stitches. And then I remembered feasible webbing. This stuff saves lives. And it saved mine. So I used this to adhere the rest of the denim to my pants, putting a couple strips under my denim and using the magic of heat and water, aka my iron and steam, to adhere the rest of my denim to my pants. And I don't have a fancy party to go to anytime soon, but I think I'll wear them anyway. Are my new best friend. They are so comfortable. They're unique yet super versatile. You know, they're almost a staple. Just black pants with a twist. I love that. And I love that I can just whip something like this out really quick because I always struggled with finding my unique style because I could never afford it. If you find yourself struggling to get that unique style that you want, stay tuned to my videos because that is what I'm into. My inspiration is street style. I love to just create quirky, interesting, completely unique clothes. And I have a lot of ideas on style videos and advice and styling different garments in different ways for, you know, different seasons or dressing up a garment and dressing it down. I have a bunch of ideas that I'm super, super excited about. So if you love weird clothes, fashion, thrifting, sewing. I would absolutely love if you stuck around to hang out with me and check out my creations. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I can. I'm still alive.